Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be talking about velocity. So let's brush up what we know already. We know that the rate of change of distance of a body is called speed, which we define mathematically as distance traveled divided by time taken. So in other words, we can define speed as the distance covered by the object per unit time. Now, uh, we know that speed is a scalar quantity because it depends upon two scalar quantities that is distance and time taken. Now whenever we talk about speed, we are concerned about how much distance a body has traveled at a certain period of time. So distance gives us a measure of how much a body has traveled but the displacement that is another quantity that we have studied gives us an idea about how far the body has traveled. Now, the rate of change of this quantity that is displacement has got a certain name which we call as the velocity of the body. So, the rate of change of displacement of a body is what we call as the velocity of a body. And in the same manner, uh, we can also say that the displacement of a body per unit time is called the velocity which we can mathematically say as Velocity of a body equals displacement divided by the time taken by the body. And as I have said, displacement is a vector quantity. Thus, the, the velocity which depends upon this vector quantity is also a vector quantity. And we know that every vector quantity is associated with two things, that is magnitude as well as direction. So whenever we talk about velocity, we need to specify the direction of motion of the body. What I mean to say is, whenever we talk about velocity, we need to include the speed of the body as well as the direction of the body, that is in which direction the body is moving. And this will give us the complete velocity of the body. Now, let's say we have two points A and B and this is a straight path which connects the points A and B, which is 30 km in length. And I want to move from point A to point B. Now suppose there, is a, there was a problem with this road and I had to take an alternative road which goes like this. And this uh, road has a length of 50 km. And it took around 2 hours for me to travel to point B from point A. Now this path length, that is the straight, uh, the length of the straight path connecting A and B is what we call as the displacement. And the length of this alternative path that I have taken is called the distance of the body. Now I said that whenever we talk about velocity or displacement, we need to specify the direction of the body. So in this case, the direction of the body is towards that direction, that is the direction, east direction. That is the body is moving towards east. Now let us calculate the speed and the velocity of uh, on moving from point A to point B and uh, find out the difference between speed and velocity in this case. So the speed of the body in this case becomes the total distance traveled divided by the total time. That is 50 kilometers divided by 2 hours which is 25 kilometers per hour. But in this case, whenever we talk about velocity, we need to take the displacement of the body into consideration. So the velocity of the body becomes 30 kilometers divided by the time taken that is two hours. And thus the value of velocity of the body in this case becomes 15 kilometers per hour towards east. Now here you can notice the difference between speed and velocity whenever we specify them. So the speed is, has only to do with the magnitude. But when it comes to velocity, we also specify the direction of the body that is towards east along with the magnitude of the velocity. Now it's a general experience for all of us that we don't move with a constant velocity all the time. In fact, we don't even keep track of the velocity in which we are moving. So it is more natural or more general when I, when I say that the velocity of a body is constantly changing. Now, when do you think the velocity of a body will change? 
it happens in three cases that is whenever there is a change in the speed of a mo speed of motion of a body or else there has to be a change in the direction of motion of a body if either of the two quantities change then we can say that the velocity of the body is changing even though the both of these quantities change even in that case we can say that the velocity of the body has changed so this was all about velocity and the conditions in which the ch there is a change in velocity of a body and i hope this video was helpful to you thanks for watching tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning